Hello everyone, this is my unboxing and demo of the Roku Express Plus. This is the video streaming box that you want to get if you have older analog style TVs or if you have even older vintage televisions with vacuum tubes etc. You want to keep get them on the internet this is the box to buy. Uh, this is currently on sale at Walmart for $28 and it's got all the flexibility of a Roku with uh, digital and analog video output. So I'll go ahead and uh, open things up here. We'll get a look. So here's what you get in the box. You get the quick start guide, the analog video cable, which has your stereo audio and composite video, the Roku unit itself, the remote power supply and remote control batteries, and an HDMI cable if you're going to hook it to a digital TV, and the power supply cable. So here's a look at the Roku device itself. It's quite a small unit. It's got a uh, infrared sensor inside the front there for the remote control. There's a double-sided tape you can apply to stick it to the top of the, your TV. And then you have your ports. The, the little round one is a reset, I guess, in case it locks up. Then your power supply, your HDMI in the middle there, and over to the right is your analog out, which you use with the analog video cable. So let's get this hooked up to a TV. So here's what it consists of, your composite video cable, plugged in on the left and your power cable on the right and the other end of the composite cable is going into this old Philips 27 inch CRT set. So once you get it hooked up and powered up this is the screen you get. You get started, select your language and then you have to connect it to your Wi-Fi. After you Connect your Wi-Fi, you get your update screen, so it connects to the internet, finds that there's, if there is new, newer software available for the Roku, you just click OK, and it'll download that update. So after your update's installed, it reboots and will ask you for your dis display type. And I'll say, yeah, it looks good. You can change it later on in the settings if you want to go to HD later. That's the beauty of this. So from here, you go in and enter... your code which in this case is NQMR for me in the Roku website and that links the box to my Roku account that's already pre-existing but you probably need to set one up if this is your first first time uh, setting one up so I am all set I just entered NQMR into the Roku site and this is going to be my living room TV
So it's now linking the box to my account with all my channels. Okay, we finished installing all my channels. Now they add a lot of extra channels initially, which I go in and take out because I'm not a subscriber like to HBO. All I have to do is highlight that box, hit the asterisk, and remove it, and it's gone. But for example, YouTube, which I plan to use here, you can cast from your phone or tablet's YouTube app, app like you would with a Chromecast. Or you can sign in here, go to youtube.com slash activate, and then that will I will do that, and that will link the Roku to the YouTube account. And there we go, there's my channel. Sorry for the flickering. That's the camera trying to deal with the NTSC scan rate. I just put my uh, shutter speed on manual. So, here we go. Just click on any video you want and there's the Tecmoan channel. So I guess for now that's gonna wrap up uh, my review of the Roku uh, Express Plus analog and digital set-top box. Highly recommended if you want to bring your ancient cruddy old TV into the internet age. Thanks for watching.